Want to see what I got in this month's Little Miss So and So All Set to Sew subscription box? Then stay tuned. So hello everybody, how are you all doing? It's Cara here and I am so, so mad. And today is one of my favorite kind of videos. So today I get to bring to you the subscription box from Little Miss So-and-So. Oh, so exciting. Oh, do you know what? I absolutely love this subscription box. Yes, it's true I'm an ambassador, but uh, and I do get provided the box um, uh, free in exchange for an honest review and I can honestly tell you I love it. I mean, and how cool is this? I'm actually wearing last month's subscription box. So these clothes are making it into my rotation. They are part of my me made wardrobe. Um, and you know, um, these fabrics and patterns aren't languishing in my stash for months on end because I didn't know what to do with them. I chose this fabric and I chose this pattern. That is the genius of the Little Smiths so-and-so subscription box so just in case you're wondering little miss so-and-so have an amazing array of subscription boxes we're talking patchwork we're talking children's beginner boxes we're talking all set to sew which is what i've got um, we've got all kinds of wonderful we've got um, home furnishings um, sort of uh, projects and bits and pieces so do head on over to her website and check out the amazing array of subscription services and there is something to suit everybody's tastes and budgets and crafts it's amazing the all set to sew box that i get um, is 35 pounds and it includes two and a half to three meters of fabric um, and you get to choose as i say every time which pattern you would like because every month there is a link and i'm going to put my pre-screen recording here of how this looks so every month you get a very exciting click here um, and then you can filter it which is what I do and what you can see me doing here so I filter for the pattern first um, and you can go to stretch um, or woven whichever way around you want to go obviously you want to look at both how exciting um, and in this month's choice so this was for January you had two fiber move patterns to choose from so you either have the um, fiber mood ruby which is an amazing sweat shirt style jumper dress which is fantastic I've completely forgotten the name of the second one um, yeah. <laughs> and sorry the light keeps going on coming and going I cannot wait for light to be in yonder window when I'm recording at night um, obviously I've got my serious readers here but that's that's a different subject but anyway um, yes so you've got a fiber mood um, ruby which is a sweatshirt dress and then you've got a fiber mood harriet which is a dropped waist shirt dress which one did I go for now then once you've once you've thought to yourself, Ooh, which one shall I go for? You get to choose which fabric. Um, and again, you filter and there's a, um, a, a created, um, a curated, sorry, selection of fabric to choose from. Oh. And my recording of what's going on here is genuine. This took me ages to decide. I, I was in such a dilemma. Shall I tell you why? Um, well, both of the dresses are amazing, but both are a little away from the style that I would normally go from. I love sweatshirt, you know this, and I love shirt, a shirt dress, you know this. But both, I was thinking, oh my words, what wearability is my key thing. It has to be able to just go straight into my wardrobe and be worn. And um, the sweatshirt, I thought, well, I've just, I've made quite a few sweatshirty things recently, um, as you'll see in future videos that are coming, not coming up over the, um, either the previous or future weeks, depending on how this all pans out, um, timing wise. Um, and then the shirt dress, love a shirt dress, but wasn't sure about the drop waist. Oh dear. So then I thought, well, can I be influenced by the fabrics? And that's the genius of it. You get to choose which fabric. Um, and um, you'll see here I'm scroll scrolling 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 oh, and I actually didn't choose on day one I think it was actually about the 4th or 5th of January that I returned my response and I'll hold my thought there um, you can see me flicking through and I think um, I think I actually even go onto the pages to look at additional pictures of both of the patterns and it's genius this whole setup is amazing because 
you have so much fun points across the month with this subscription box. The email comes in on the first, so you get the wonderful thing of like choosing what you want to do. Um, you then have to you, you respond, tell them what you want, which is amazing. Um, and then you get from that date to um, when the when the delivery arrives, um, which is around the twentieth or so. Um, it's a tw actually it's the twenty sixth today, I think. So by the magic of YouTube, I'm bringing you this collective in one video. So my previous footage is from the first today. Yay! That's why I can't wait for it to be sunshine. It's, it's the evening. There's a box sitting there. I need to open it. Um, and yeah, so then you get from that time to, to now to be thinking, um, you know, uh, is there a, is there a Sarah Long? Uh, is there like Instagram pictures? Is, what does Fibre Mood recommend? It, oh, you know, with the pattern company, etc. Love that. Then you get today to see the um, opening of it. And then the, you know, the joy of it starts, isn't it? Pre-wash and you start making. Um, so that's so exciting. But not only do you get the two and a half to three meters of fabric, you actually get the pattern as well. You get all the notions you need. So remember I've made um, the Mitchell trousers and I got the zip, I got the interfacing, I got the pocket linings, I got um, uh, a lovely button. And that's bespokely picked to whatever you choose, which is amazing. So these boxes aren't pre-made up months in advance because they're waiting to hear what you want. I love it. So for today, based on what I've chosen, um, I think there might be some ribbing involved, maybe? Maybe that gives it away. Oh, if it does, because that's the stretch version. Don't, <laughs> never mind. But uh, yeah, so exciting. Um, and then you get a haberdashery gift as well, um, as well as the, mat um, the matching Gutterman thread. Gosh, that's a lot to remember. There is a number of different classes of subscription, and there's one up from mine, um, which um, is so special. Um, I think that's right. Oh, oh, maybe I've got that wrong. But that one's slightly more expensive. Um, it's the same pattern choice that you get to choose from branded pat um, uh, fabric companies. So Atelier, um, uh, Brunette, um, oh my goodness, Lady McElroy, etc. But there is an amazing array of wonderful dressmaking and craft um, uh, bits and pieces. I'm underselling that totally over on the Little Miss So-and-So website. So go check it out. So, so now you know I chose the stretch pattern. There's me sorting out my necklace whilst talking. How very professional of you, Cara. Um, so yeah, so now you know I chose the, um, the stretch pattern, which was the Fibre Mood Ruby. Let's see how it's turned up. So it always comes in a beautiful box. I remember to put my hand over the address here. So, and I, I don't live very, very far away at all from Little Miss So-and-So. And as I said before, if I chose to, I could actually drive past Little, Little Miss So-and-So, which is a warehouse, not open to the public all the time, but they are doing open days. So check um, and make sure you're following them on Instagram. And obviously I'll be telling you about that too. So a beautiful, beautiful box, quite a weighty box this month. And then inside, doo -doo -doo, let me show you that. I've, I genuinely haven't opened this yet. I've just done the noisy bit. So there you go. Look at that. So beautifully wrapped. I don't know how they do it. Oh, so, so lovely. Oh, okay. So, gosh, look at this. This is fabulous. We've got a lovely big parcel here. Let me just pop that there. A second. Oh, bless. Oh, my word. Look at this. So this month's gift. Look. Oh my goodness, that's super cute. That is, there's my husband coming home, sorry about that, but a llama pin cushion. Look how cute that is. Oh, that's gonna go straight into rotation, just here with my pins. Um, oh, that's so cute. Oh, right. And here we are, got the, the pattern. It looks like the pattern instructions are nicely printed out in color there. Oh, oh, oh. And then we have, the A0 version of the pattern um, and it's on lovely paper, nice thick quality paper. So if you're a tracer, it's really good. It doesn't move around, won't slide about. You know, I like to cut straight in, so I am going to cut straight in. Now the, the Ruby sweatshirt, um, you actually, um, so actually let me show you the line drawings. So that's the line drawings there. But obviously you can chop this and obviously just make it a sweatshirt or keep it 
I just love the idea of that look. Oh, how cool does that look? Um, and there you are, as the um, A0 um, paper as well, a printed, printed pattern. But let's have a look at the main event, shall we? Look at that beautiful wrapping. Lovely, beautiful, absolutely stunning. Lovely little sticker there, the little, you know, this so-and-so. Excuse the rustling, just a second. The best kind of rustling, really, isn't it? Got to be. What do you think I went for? Did you see if I was scrolling and going back over and back over? <gasps> I love it! So here's a small sneaky peek, as I said. So they curate your box or create your box based on your choices. Um, so they can't be languishing somewhere. They're going to wait for you to decide. So we've got a very generous amount of um, ribbing there, which is really cool, um, in a colour that is coordinating. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this. Oh, hang on, I've dropped my thread. ta -da! Also coordinating. So let me just put the ribbing and the... <gasps> dun, dun, dun! Look at that. I mean, can we just admire for a second the quality of the fold here? I mean, how? I look over at my pattern stash and my fabric stash. Nothing on the shelves looks like that. <laughs> Once I open this up, will it ever look like that again? I doubt it. <laughs> look, look at that. <gasps> Genius. Oh my God. This is stunning. There's a very generous amount of fabric here. I and mean, we're like, we're talking super generous. And don't forget from last month's box, I was able to make the sweatshirt as well as <laughs> the joggers that I have on. I'm very glamorously showing you. This is amazing. So obviously it's a grey leopard print um, French terry. Um, it's like a soft sweat actually, because on the back this is, oh, that is just going to be amazing. Let me hold it up a bit more and see what you're thinking. Oh, that's going to be, I know you can't see my head now. It's no bad thing. Look at that, that is fantastic. And you know, actually, when I was doing some research about the um, the Fibre Mood Ruby dress, I actually had an inspo shot because the um, Ruby does have a round neck, so very similar to this. But actually, let me put the inspiration shot in here of a jersey dress that I saw, and that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to hack this pattern. I'm actually going to put a V-neck in, um, just because it's a style I really like. Um, and I just want, I wanted to break this up a little bit, but I'll still be using the ribbing um, that was provided there. So how exciting is that? Genuinely, just love it. Um, so by the power of YouTube, I'm actually going to go off and make this. So what will be just a, a doodle -doodle 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 to you, um, I'm sorry about my family talking in the background, will actually be um, maybe a week or so for me. We'll see. Maybe I'll just crack on and get it done this weekend. But yes coming to you soon will be the finished article. See you in a minute. Okay, so here I am back again. A few things, <laughs> fiddling with my hair, sorry. A few things. I've changed my room around a little bit um, because um, for some reason when I video my sewing machines are round the other way. It's a mystery to me. I don't know why it happens and it did quite a lot of you in <laughs> in the last, the last video I did. I have perfectly standard um, sewing machines. I've had all sorts of people message me and say I've got a left-handed machine, so I am left-handed. No, I do not. I don't think such a thing exists. I don't know why it happens. Some scientist out there will know um, why that occurs. <laughs> um, let me just move the camera down a little bit so you can see a little bit more of me. So anyway, I've moved my room around a little bit um, to have a more simple background. I've got my, um, my mannequin with me today, which is quite nice. And this is actually, um, shh, this is a birthday present for someone. Um, but yeah, this is a Grasser 77 that I've made as a gift. So um, that's ready and waiting to go. Um, but yeah, do you know what? I, I rushed, I'm not rushed, but I was so enthusiastic to talk to you about uh, my choices for the box that I kind of skipped over some of the points that I did want to raise around some of the other fabrics that were available. Because one of the reasons I was deliberating so much was because there was Pontel fabric in there. For, um, maybe not for the first time, but for the first time that that fabric would have been suitable for the, um, the ruby uh, sweater dress. 
and I deliberated about that for ages but the colours just weren't quite my colour scheme there was a really lovely it was a light grey um which you know I like but um that's not even for me but um well you know I like it because that's the colour fabric I've chosen but um I decided not to in the end um I don't know there's been just a lot of focus on Pontel fabric um and I knew that would offer the drape that I think would help this pattern because although on the um on the cover itself oh, I'll just lean over there I'm always moving around in my films on on the photo itself this is a heavyweight sweatshirting but I think that can create um for some people myself included I think that would create bulk and I don't necessarily I don't necessarily want that so I thought the Pontel would be quite nice but nonetheless I went for the um the amazing um let me give a sneak peek um uh soft sweat um animal print and the best way I can show you this I think um because <laughs> I went ahead and got dressed and everything today this is the glamorous world of youtube and obviously i knew that i wanted to film this so i should really be in the outfit maybe i'll put it on in a minute but let me show you because i made the dress and i'll pop it pop some footage in here and i'll show it to you here so ta -da! here we go so we have got, oh, got a bit of flick on there somewhere there we go We've got the ruby, um, the ruby dress by Fiber Mood in this amazing, beautiful soft, soft sweat um, fleece um, from the Little Miss Sew and Show box. It's got the the cuffs on it here as well. Now let me. Um, it's probably easier because it's such a long dress. I knew I was not going to be able to show you this on the footage very easily anyway. But this was amazing and I have to apologise actually, I've made an error in my previous bit of footage. The, the subscription box is £45 and I will edit that in and, and put that over the top but you'll still meet, hear me say £35. Apologies, I don't know where my head was at. There are two levels, one is £45 and one is £65 and I've said many times before, the £65 is the so luxurious and that offers branded fabrics but the £45 is such a, such a good good value. And this month, this amazing fabric, right, I think I said you get two and a half to three metres. It varies because it varies on the cost of the fabric. It varies because of the cost of the, um, the fabric, that the pattern choices. Um, and as far as I can tell, you're always provided enough fabric in order to make the biggest size, which makes perfect sense. But this month, for the first month, I measured it because when I got this out, I was like, whoa, that is a lot of fabric. Amazing, beautiful absolutely adore it um, so I measured it and I laid it out across my um, dining room table and um, my dining room table is 167 centimeters long 66 inches um, and I had enough to cover my dining room table twice so that's 3.3 meters of this fabulous fabric and the dress is big you know long you know um, and uh, took I think it said 1.8 meters or so on so right there that is an amazing value um, subscription 3.3 meters this this fabric alone is 15 pounds a meter I imagine I didn't look but I imagine it is and therefore just the fabric is the cost of the subscription box and yet you're getting a pattern on top um, printed out you're getting the instructions obviously and you're getting your gift and you're getting postage it's it's a no-brainer as far as I can work out amazing Enough, enough gossip, <laughs> enough, enough waffling on Cara. You can tell I don't edit anything out because all of that is still in the picture. <laughs> so I, I love this, um, I loved this pattern. I knew it was gonna be a different style for me. I, I'm, I was honest about that right from the off. So I did change it, I adapted it to have um, the V-neck which I just knew would be better for me in terms of um, my chesticles um, and having a bit more um, skin on show here. Um, but I, I also, in the instructions, it says this is an oversized um, pattern. So if you want a more slender fit, then, then size down. So my measurements put me into a size large um, and therefore um, I knew that I was gonna make a size medium. Now the size medium is still quite, quite roomy um let's have a look here so um so i'm my bust is approximately i think it's 100 somewhat something like that my hips are about 104 something like that um and then the 
so the medium yeah so if you imagine so my bust size is about 100 maybe it's 104 i forget but it's around that point um which is the large category and then the medium still finished up on 114 and the hips um still finished up on 115 so basically straight up and straight down so i knew um to be fair even the small um small would have been a tight fitting well not tight fitting but slender fit um so i went for a medium um and there's a very quick sew really really quick sew you literally put the shoulder seams together you put the um sleeve on in the flat uh, do your side seams inclusive of the arm sleeves put the neck band in um uh, to be fair the slits at the side took longer and you do this nice sort of mitered edge piece which i did um but, so the whole thing took me maybe an hour to make yeah, genuinely uh, maybe an hour I then spent maybe two and a half hours tweaking it to make it look like that. Um, it was enormous. I know um, some uh, some uh, fellow YouTubers, so um, Adele um, from So So for Serenity. Hi Adele, she's made a beautiful version. Actually, we're so like in this fabric, but in the khaki. Um, so she's made that. She kept the round neck, but it she yeah she also made a medium but also experience the fact that it is enormous. Um, I didn't seem to suffer from, I don't seem to suffer from the similar issue she had with the dropped shoulder. Mine doesn't have, seem to have so much gathering on it. I don't know why that is. We've both used the same instructions, but you know, <laughs> it's just how things come out sometimes, I suppose. Um, but obviously I've made the, may, maybe having the, the neckline makes the arms, you know, look different. I'm not sure, but, I took an enormous amount off this dress to make it look like it does there. It was, it was so voluminous. Um, and it, it, you know, it, in the picture, it is a voluminous style, so it's nothing to do with the pattern, certainly nothing to do with the wonderful fabric. It's just about the wearability and what we, we deem right for us. So that was really interesting. And so I had the slits up the side, can you just remind me in the future not to put slits on the side of anything? I don't know why I do it. I don't like them. I, I know that they sort of flare out on me. What did I make recently? Oh, help me out. What did I make recently that was also had slits up the side? What was that going to be? I didn't make the Giselle or the Estelle in that way. What did I make? Something else I recently took the slide slits out of. Because I was just like, Cara, don't do it. But I did, I did do it, and I thought maybe this time it'll be um, all right. No, it wasn't. I don't know if it's because I stretched the fabric out slightly, but on me, I create this slight, I'm doing this, uh, what I mean is down by sort of my knees to my ankles, because that's how long the dress is. Sort of this sticky outy bit where the um, the slits are. And, and to be fair, that's what's happening in the picture. You can see this, this is the sort of kick out of the slit looked all wrong on me so having done all the work to miter it all have have overlocked all the edges and everything zip, zip, i just went straight back up the side and i actually ended up ended up tapering it in um if i stand up i'll be able to show you um i, t I tapered it in here and then let it go quite a lot back out to the original m size at my hip now i've got a bit of a belly um some days i do some days i don't just the life of my body um, and in some of the pictures, I, I don't know, I don't want to accentuate that area. It's not an awful area of me, but it's not something that I personally want to accentuate. So it took me ages to get the, um, the line of that just right, because I didn't want it to be tight over my tummy, but I did want it to come in at the right angle at my waist. I hope I'm making sense. The vision of this dress in the version I've created with the trainers on, uh, which are the silver trainers, is exactly what I wanted. Um, and I, I, for me personally, so I've, I think I've put pictures in here where I've got fairy boots on. So I've got tights and then fairy boots. I don't, I know this colour of the boots, colour of the tights, I'm not sure. Just that aesthetic didn't work for me so much, but that's obviously what I'm wearing right now. I haven't tried it with different boots, I haven't tried it with different tights. But I love the look of the um, bare legs and then trainers. Um, I bought these trainers off Vinted just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, tenor, absolute steal. Um, actually they're really uncomfortable which is really frustrating so I have to have, need to have a fiddle about with that because they're perfect for this outfit 
um, and I will I will wear them. Um, so yes, the the look with the bare legs um, and the trainers, that's a very spring look. Um, you know, warm is getting slightly warmer, but you still need some something. I'm sorry about the um, air blowing. Someone's doing leaves in the background. Sorry about that. I hope that's not too noisy. That wasn't happening when I started filming. But anyway, um, so yes, yeah, so I do really like the look with the trainers and the bare legs. I definitely can see that entering into my wardrobe. Overall, um, from the subscription service, it's phenomenal. What a beautiful fabric. What a beautiful choice of pattern. I love the little llama pin cushion. I think it's superb. Obviously, I've got the A A0 pattern, which is amazing. Sorry, my chair is disappearing. Um, and yeah, the dress made up in no time at all with all of those amendments. That's a lot. But I do love it and I have actually worn it a lot because it's super snugly. Then, because I had so much fabric left over, we're talking just over two metres worth of fabric left over. I couldn't help myself. I hate having fabric languishing in my stash. So this is going to look not great with this cardigan out, I think. And actually, I might put it on. And so let's put it on. I made a duster cardigan. Now I will put some pictures in. Let me put pictures in whilst whilst I'm putting this on here. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Ta -da! I made a duster cardigan. Um, it's a very unglamorous view of my back there. I'm sorry about that. Ah, oh, I've got to say I absolutely love this. I wanted a duster cardigan. For the longest time so I will put some pictures in which obviously will sit over the top of the mannequin so sorry about that but you'll be looking at pictures whilst I'm pointing at my mannequin I love this um, yeah I just I can't believe there was that much fabric left over that I was able to make a full length duster now this is the Harper cardigan um, which is a free pattern unbelievable that it's free I actually quite fancied making the Esme by named clothing um, that featured on Guthrie Garney's um, uh, uh, program, video, YouTube, whatever, in, in her window. And I've just been thinking about it ever since. But the Harper is a free pattern. Um, and I was able to make a full length Harper cardigan. I did size up, so I would standardly make a size 14, but I made a size 16 so that it's a bit more snugly. Not oversized exactly, as you'll see in the pictures. But I wore this out in London yesterday um, and it gave me just like, just the right layer of warmth um, as opposed to wearing a coat. So I'm absolutely delighted. I also wanted to have a sort of a house coat um, as we're all into heating the human and not the house at the moment. Um, so that's really helped me out. It's super stylish. I just, I just love it. Um, it goes really well with the top that I'm giving away. <laughs> that's okay because you know that I've got several tops made out or cut out ready to go in this fabric but that's for a different video um, but oh let's just summarize okay 3.3 meters of this wonderful um, soft sweat um, fabric um, you get to choose um, what fabric you choose you get to choose the pattern that you want to make um, now where were we what's the date today must be I have no idea what date it is it's early on in February <laughs> um, and I've already seen what, because uh, it's, it's past the 1st of February, let's just put it that way. And I've seen the pattern for this month already for Little Miss So-and-So. So obviously as you watch this you can't choose February's but you have to the end of the month to choose up to um, choose March's. And the, the patterns are sensational to choose from this month um, and the choice of fabrics as well which is just magical. So yeah, for £45, 3.3 metres of fabric on this occasion, with the pattern, with the instructions, with a gift, including postage packing. It's just amazing. So thank you once again, Little Miss So-and-So, for allowing me to be part of your ambassador team. I absolutely love it. Cannot wait for the next one and share my enthusiasm. Also, can I just say that Little Miss So-and-So is now open every Saturday from 10 till 3. Um, they've just started doing it, so, so it must be the 11th yesterday, it must be the 12th today, because um, I, I think that's the case. Oh my word, I'm losing the plot. But anyway, so, oh no, 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 a week before. 
I'm losing the plot. But anyway, I'm going to be going there um, on Saturday the 11th at some stage. Um, I couldn't go couldn't go yesterday because I was in London, but I will be there next week. Um, actually, yeah, why not say that out loud? I will be there at some stage. Please feel free to message me if you're going to be there. I'm at um, Cara at So So Mad on Instagram or leave me a direct message below. Um, I'm really inspired by um, in real life meetups of sewing friends and I would absolutely love to meet you. Um, I'm just going to put that right out there. Why not? Um, so Little Miss So and So is in Polgate. It's really easy to get to. Um, there is parking there. Um, it's an industrial estate, um, so it's not a shop set up. It is actually an industrial unit, but it's really well set up when it's in there. Um, actually, um, Nicola does um, lives every Friday and um, the time of those change. But if you go over to Facebook to their Little Miss So-and-So website, uh, Facebook site, sorry, you will see her lives. Um, sorry, I've got notifications coming up here. Um, you will see her live and you'll see what the environment is. But how nice is that to be able to go to the actual fabric shop? Um, so she's running that every Saturday for the time being. I don't know if it's a temporary thing or not, but she was doing them once a month and they seem to they've increased that. So I cannot wait to be there. Um, as I say, I'm definitely going next Saturday, but um, I hope to be there, you know, periodically just pop in and feel some strokes some fabric. So that's absolutely lovely. Oh, so I hope you're all keeping well um, and I will be back with you next week for an update on what, I've been, what else I've been up to um, recently and recent makes etc. So until then, I hope you're staying safe and well. Take care everybody. Bye bye.